Hey, what is up, guys? It is the Hunter here, and welcome back to the channel. Do you want some free V Bucks? Yes. Well, you're screwed because I don't give anything out. Anyways, guys, in this video, we're going to be going over five reasons why you are not winning in Fortnite. Now, these are going to be things that you should do and things that you should not do in Fortnite. It's basically going to be a tips video. This video is basically going to help you get more wins in Fortnite and maybe, just maybe, even gave you your first win ever. And so, if you find this video helpful in any way, shape, or form... Make sure to drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments which one of these has helped you the most. Now, to start off this list, we got in the number 5 spot, playing too aggressive. Now, I know this is a very fun way to play. People usually want to have this play style because they watch people like Avery, Ninja play like that. But, you gotta realize, sometimes you have to face reality, guys, and accept the fact that you aren't them. So instead of rushing everyone, try playing slower, use your cover to your advantage, get the high ground if possible. Don't just try to run straight at everyone because chances are you're absolutely going to get wrecked. Now, the only exception to this is if someone starts rushing you with ramps, make sure you rush right back out at them so you can cut them off and build over them. Because if they get the high ground on you, you are destroyed. Now for the next one, which is basically the number four spot, we got hiding. That is one of the reasons you don't win in Fortnite. What I mean by this is players that are too passive, because you can be a passive player, get to the circle, build a little fort, and wait for people to pass by. That's a good passive player, but being too passive is not good for you. Hiding behind a tree, inside houses, or under someone's base, especially in the end game, do not hide under someone's base. That person will eventually find you and use the hide to their advantage. You're absolutely going to get destroyed, guy. Hiding all the time might make you get second place, maybe. But chances are that that last guy alive with you is going to be way better than you. So if you play like this, try leaving your comfort zone and play more aggressive. Try to get in as many gunfights as possible because after all... That is the only way to get better at this game. It is to practice shooting at other people. Now, moving on to the next one, which is the number three spot. We got not farming enough. Now, this is something that I can relate to myself. You can never have enough materials. Just keep this in mind. Never. Especially now this far into the game. People just build like crazy. And you're going to have to get in building fights in which literally in one gunfight... You can waste up to 500 of your material, so make sure you always, always farm enough. Do not make the mistake that I used to make of not gathering enough materials and then saying, oh well, I'll kill someone and I'll take what they have, because you never know. You might kill someone, they don't have anything, so you're just stuck without materials. I already lost count of how many times I died because I ran out of materials, especially in the end game, guys. Imagine getting second place. Because you're in a blast place building battle and then you run out and the other guy has way more materials than you. I promise you guys, farm as much as possible. Do not, I repeat, do not hope to find a llama. Because finding a llama in this game is so hard. I don't know how many llamas spawn per game, but not that many. Because I don't find one every single game. So I'm just saying guys, make sure you farm enough because it's definitely definitely gonna benefit you now the next thing on this list of a reason why you're not winning in fortnite is because you don't use explosive weapons now these weapons are obviously very good and are only needed in certain situations but if you ever come across an rpg or a grenade launcher make sure you take it I'm sure that you guys just leave it behind because you guys are like, I just want to snipe or I want to have a double shotgun strat. I want to have potions. I have a lot of potions. No, guys. Make sure you always leave a spot in your inventory for one of these explosives. That is going to cost you even if you don't realize it, guys. Like, I don't know how many times I've passed by an RPG and I just leave it there. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to snipe and, and then in the end game. I get second place because I just I just got destroyed with the rocket launcher. I'm telling you guys right now, these weapons are overpowered. And if you're not like the best player in the game, like you're not at the skill level of these people you watch, make sure you take that because that's going to give you a huge advantage on other people. If someone's better than you, a rocket launcher can take care of that 
in an instant you don't even need to do anything just shoot at them very very simple so just guys make sure you always take explosives especially if you're not that good at the game that is basically gonna make you better at the game quote unquote it's just it's just gonna give you a way better advantage in gunfights now moving on to the last reason why you're not winning in fortnite the number one spot is no building well this is a no-brainer right of course, like everybody knows that building is key in this game. It is a key to success. It is what makes this game. It's called Fortnite for a reason, guys. You need to build, but I included this one on this list because it is probably the most important thing and people actually forget to build. But you know what? Just for this, let's make it a little bit more specific. Build cover every time you're going to heal. Think about how many times you have gotten killed while applying a med kit. Yeah. It sucks. It sucks, right? So build as soon as you get in the circle. Start healing. Do that. Also, as soon as you run from the storm and get into the safe zone and then you find a spot that you want to like roam around, just build. If you're not like the myth, if you're not ninja, just build a one by one, three story, one by one and just scout the area. Stay there for a bit. Whenever you see no one's there, just run. Keep running, you know, just build cover every time. Don't make the mistake. Of getting in the safe zone and hiding in a bush or hiding behind a rock do not do that guys just build a one by one and camp for a little bit there's nothing wrong with camping and the most important thing to do is to make sure you build in the end game you have no idea no idea how many times I build in the end game and the rest of the players are like on the floor like hiding behind the house hiding behind a it's easy wins guys easy wins if you're the only person that builds in the end like literally if you don't build this is what's gonna happen there's someone there's one person that is gonna have a one by one like five stories up you're gonna be on the ground guess what's gonna happen you're gonna get killed like literally it is gonna be so hard for you to win that gunfight you'll literally have to clutch up and make fortnite history but with that being said guys that's been it for the video Thank you all so much for watching. If this did help you in any way, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.